can a couple go splitsville and remain friends? Now, I'm not talking about Tomcat or our Pats and Case Do. In Celeste and Jesse Forever, Andy Samberg and Rashida Jones are divorcing, but they're still buds. Andy swears it can happen. I think certain couples uh, are designed to stay friends even if it ends, and certain ones are very volatile, and a clean break is probably the best move for both sides. Well, there's no easy answer to it. That's kind of why the movie's fun and interesting and, and gets complicated. On screen, Andy is a slacker who just can't get his life together, and he could relate. Uh, well, pre-SNL, it's pretty close. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I, I would say until I got an actual paying job working in comedy, my parents were definitely worried about me and whether or not I was going to be able to make a living. As for making a family, Andy reveals he's been thinking about taking a walk down the aisle. Who knows? I'm not getting any younger. <laughs> we'll see. I hope to be a dad someday. That's definitely part of my plan for life. Andy doesn't expect any relationship to be perfect. Ha! That's why he's glad Celeste and Jesse Forever doesn't have a Hollywood ending. That's kind of, to me, the, the hook of this movie is that it's real. It feel, it's the way things actually are in real life, and sometimes it's not how you'd hoped, but that's kind of the reality of it, and, and the strength that you draw from and, and in order to move on is, is kind of much more honest about being a human and being in relationships which I thought was cool. <laughs> you spend every day together as if like it's no big deal. We are separated and we're friends. This is the perfect breakup. I'm Jeannie Wolf on the Hollywood scene oh, with Andy Samuel. Ah, she is uber angry. Yeah. yeah.